Heart failure in America is a growing epidemic, and it's causing healthcare costs to skyrocket. By 2030, heart failure costs are expected to double to $70 billion in the United States. Heart failure accounts for 1-2% to of the total healthcare spending in developed countries. And for each patient, the lifetime direct cost of treating their heart failure is estimated to be as much as $110,000. Most of this cost comes from hospitalizations, up to 77%. And with heart failure, many patients find themselves in a vicious cycle of hospital discharge and readmission, with their condition worsening on each hospitalization. Over 1 million heart failure hospitalizations occur each year, and up to 1 in 4 of those patients will be readmitted to the hospital in 30 days. As such, Medicare spends more on heart failure than any other diagnosis, with the highest 30-day readmission rate of any condition. The Affordable Care Act sought to reduce these costs by implementing programs that reward the hospitals that can improve these readmission rates, and penalize those with high rates. Over $400 million were assessed in fines in 2017, and readmission rates are harder to hit. With more heart failure patients and increasing penalties, it is more important than ever that clinicians have an effective solution aid in monitoring and treating patients with fluid conditions like heart failure. REDS, or Remote Dielectric Sensing, is a unique RF-based technology that uses radio waves rather than electrical impedance to provide an accurate, actionable fluid volume measurement in the right lung. REDS is FDA cleared and used in the management of lung fluid in conditions such as heart failure. Because REDS is correlated to CT and internally measured hemodynamics, physicians can confidently assess fluid volume to help inform treatment. REDS can detect very small changes in fluid volume, often detecting increases in fluid levels early before further decompensation that will present other clinical symptoms ultimately leading to hospitalization. Normal lungs have about 25% to 35% fluid content, any more than that, and they might be trending towards hypervolemic status. Because REDS can help establish a baseline fluid level and monitor small changes in fluid status, physicians can use it as a tool to keep patients in a range that is stable and adjust their medication to ensure they are truly dry at discharge and not likely to be readmitted. Work done recently by Dr. Daniel Benseman at Cone Health and a double-blinded study using REDS to measure patients at discharge confirms the result of the ADHERE heart failure study that about half of heart failure patients have excess fluid at discharge, potentially putting them at risk for readmission. Facilities like Cone, Mount Sinai, and Rochester Health have been using REDS and seeing dramatic reductions in readmission rates. In a clinical study, REDS was shown to help lower readmissions by as much as 87% when used to help in treatment decision making. And when the clinical study concluded, readmission rates rebounded to just below the baseline. REDS can provide actionable lung fluid data across the continuum of heart failure care, providing decision making support for the ED, heart failure floor, the outpatient clinic, or skilled nursing facility. REDS can help take the guesswork out of monitoring fluid status and help make sure patients are sent home stable. If you have any more questions about REDS, log on to sensible-medical.com to learn more, or reach out at info at sensible-medical.com.